This is awesome. Look at this, guys. This is a cool room. These guys have every single thing you need for your pond. Okay, you ready? One, two, three, he's in. This is a contemporary recreation pond. It's nothing like you've ever seen Aquascape do. Wow, this really is beautiful. I mean, it really shows you the possibilities with a naturalized water feature that you can interact with. So can you imagine that Fly River going and getting the view from here? Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, the lunatic just arrived. Let's see what's going on here. Hey, buddy. I, I don't know who I'm working, but I didn't see you are my turtle. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, 1,400 miles, dude. Good job. Just to get here to be a pandemonium. <laughs> pandemonium a, time, baby. It's awesome, man. So let me show you what we got for you. I'm really excited. So exciting. Because this guy was getting beat up in my pond, so it was the perfect opportunity to move him out and go to a new home here at Aqualand, which is awesome. Go ahead, you just pull that out. Oh, and man. Now, just understand, he's had a long ride, so he's probably real tired. So, let's go ahead and have you look at this. Oh, yes. He's beautiful, man. Oh. We, we really want to get him set up. So uh, nice there's some sphagnum moss. Yeah, in here. just just keeping him moist uh, for the ride. Aww. But yeah, it's a fly river turtle, and he's perfectly healthy, and he's ready to go to his new home, dude. Well, we have two new homes for him. Okay, we're gonna put him in today. It's a little bit warmer, the indoor pond, right, with, with the Japanese koi fish, and then on Monday, I want you to bring him out at Pondemonium and put him in the outside place that we'll take him for walks on. Okay, very cool. All right, all right, man, let's go do him. Oh, this is like a home away from home for me, man. We have to show the retail store man. Okay, let's see, let's see. You this is where you guys would come. If you come visit Aqualand, you'd come to the retail store. It's so much fun. This is where all of the products that they make here are, uh, are sold to the public. So it's a really fun place. Good, you? And this is, like I said, it's Aqualand week. It's Pondemonium week. Look at this, ponds everywhere. Is this where he's going? No, no, he's not going. We oh, have okay. a bigger tank than this. Yeah, I was going to say, this is like... Deeper and bigger. Yeah. I mean, I can you guys imagine? This is not... This would be perfect for a Fly River Turtle, but wait until you see where he's going to go. It's going to be awesome, man. But this is the coolest place. There's turtles everywhere. I don't know. Actually, maybe the turtles are gone. Oh, man, he moved the turtles out. Hey, Kenneth. Yes. Oh, the iguana. <laughs> yeah. Look at this guy, man. Now, in Florida, we see them all the time. And if I were to touch it, I would get in trouble. But here, in Illinois, no drama. Look at how beautiful he is. He loves to get scratched. My he God. Does he? Yeah, especially behind the ear. Oh, look at that. Now, you know what's funny, man, is green iguanas are one of the most popular pet reptiles in the world. Uh-huh. But I think they're some of the most amazing looking. They're just a, such a cool lizard. And I love that I can see them in Florida, even though they're an invasive species. It is still, look at the size of this guy's dewlap. <laughs> no way, man. Ah, it's not the size of the dewlap, it's how you shake it, dude. All right, let's lock him up. All right, here we go. He is just gone. There goes Greg. I gotta catch up with him. Ah, oh, Greg, it's gonna be a one wild 24 hours. Hey, look, baby turtles. Look at these little guys. Hey, little dudes. There are turtles everywhere. As you know, Greg loves turtles. This is awesome. This looks like a mangrove. That is so cool. Now, no way. Is that beautiful? That is amazing, so this guys. This is a good habitat for him, I oh, think. Oh, it's gonna be fantastic. He's yeah. just gonna be able to swim. These guys don't need to bask. Yep. They literally are fully aquatic. This is an awesome indoor pond. This is, a, well, we consider it a formal pond, right? Yeah, this because is a formal got, pond. It's, yep. our, it's for our, our best Japanese koi fish that we have here. And uh, the, these are my pets. They're not for sale that are, that are in here. And uh, every year I go to Japan and get some new ones. I'll be in Japan in uh, end of October, beginning of November, buying new no ones for way. him. But Ken, you want to see the coolest fish in here? Yeah. It's right here. Let me see this. You got to put, that's a GoPro, right? Yeah, but it, I don't have my water, my waterproof one's out in the car. Oh. I'll have to get some B-roll. Tell me what you see on that fish. And ask your viewers to see what they see on that fish. That's like, a show right there. What do you see? What kind of marking do you see on that fish? Uh, 
That's I, special. That's special? Look, look, come on. You come on, buddy. Uh, I don't know. Yes, I mean, as soon as I point it out, you're gonna you're gonna notice it. Okay, hold on. This it's hard to see. I'm gonna have to get some underwater he footage. Around, he's turning around. All right, he's making his turn. Come what on, kind of mark? You you know, kind of distort your eyes a little bit. Uh, what do you guys see? Do you guys see anything? I see. Okay, black. he's turning. There he is. There's a heart. Oh, okay. Yeah, you there's see a the heart. heart. Yeah, he's got that's a heart. It's a heart fish. It's a heart fish. So that's good <laughs> luck or something? What, you pay like 90 grand for that fish uh, or something? Six. Hey. <laughs> and he flew to Japan to get it. This is awesome. Look at this, guys. This is a cool room. Uh, what's what's this room called? Greg's Turtletopia. Oh, come on. There you go. It's Greg's Turtletopia. And I'll tell you, this has been one of my dreams is to have a pond that I can view like this and then also just like they did for blake and some of their other ponds they went ahead and made a viewing window so greg has said it before uh ponds are like the ultimate aquarium well how many people have a four thousand gallon aquarium that's a four thousand it's gallon insane pond. i mean this is the way to do it and if you're the pond guy you better have the best aquarium well there. and now i've got a five river turtle because titan's a little small for this that right. we got from ohio fish rescue so he's actually at ed the pond professor's house yep right now in his outdoor summer home which we've got an outdoor summer home for here that you and i will take him out to later but uh this is his this is his full-time home over in here all right well this is fantastic this is more than enough room there's no other turtles in here nope. that that he can be aggressive with because fly rivers are aggressive with each other and other turtles and even crocodilians they'll uh at the san diego zoo they they nibble on some of the gharials they're tough animals so uh we don't have that going on you think um, he'll do okay with my koi oh no with the koi he'll be fine yep. no problems yeah he's not gonna eat your six thousand dollar koi don't worry <laughs> anyway come on dude let's do it okay hold on i'm going live so okay oh it. well and give it to zach let's act let's act film you put any of it in oh well don't you want to put it I'll in put it's it in, your yeah. animal i mean i've been so excited to give this thing to you well and he's worrying about his is social this the media one that i caught in the back in the muddy pond uh possibly yes yes it is possible you have a few of them. i do i'm liking that he's already moving he's yeah already he's already he smells the water Definitely smells the water, so this is cool. In the meantime, he's getting ready to go live. I don't know what he's doing, Zach. I'm gonna come over here. Look at this, it's like a cool little bar. You can have a drink and just, you know, your bartenders are of the uh, uh, ichthyological kind, I suppose. Well, I don't know. And then if you guys are looking for koi, you can find them here, you can buy them here. These guys have every single thing you need for your pond, and of course, these turtles are all Greg's pets. That's how Greg got started in ponds. Much like me, just loves turtles. And look at this place, it is awesome. That was so cool. All right, bud, hold on, I'm showing off. He's got a Mata Mata in here. This is a fun spot. All right, dude. So, all right, Greg, for all the nice things you've done for me over the years in our friendship, you asked me if I knew someone river. who had a fly river turtle and that fly river turtle is going in to live with these koi so here we go all right dude go, go ahead you do the honors greggy awesome oh he's so big he is beautiful oh and look he really wants to get in there yeah it's so my cool. favorite turtle here let's my put him in front turtle. of the window and i'll as soon as oh, you okay. come in i'll just see him right down here you ready one two three he's in that's it, everybody. The Fly River's in there with all those fish. <laughs> he is so happy to be back in water. This wow. is awesome. So my buddy Camp Kennan, all the way from Florida, how long, 1,700 miles? Uh, 1,400 miles. 1,400 miles, bringing me my Fly River turtle at the indoor pond at Aqualand, the koi pond, yeah. some beautiful so koi cool. fishing here, and a Fly River turtle that does not need to bass, which is why I wanted a turtle in here. That's beautiful one i've got titan from big rich at ohio fish rescue that's over at the pond professor's house but look at all these cool koi swimming with a turtle like that is the ultimate yeah that, you know in, I, it, yeah, and my I, first one out here yeah well i consider the fly river turtle to be kind of a holy grail of turtles because um they're so unique they're the only freshwater turtle that actually has flippers yes. and swims exactly like a sea turtle they're also known as the pig nose turtle and that's because their nose pig looks nose. like from a pig. Papua New Guinea, right? Uh, from Papua New Guinea in northern Australia, and uh, they'll use that nose to sift through the soil in the, in the bottom of their uh, the substrate in the bottom of the yeah. habitat, and they find fruits, they find invertebrates. They're an omnivore. And the other crazy thing about the fly river turtle, people, 
I don't know who I'm looking yeah. at. <laughs> uh, but the other crazy thing about Fly River turtles is they'll lay their eggs, the water level will rise, and the eggs hatch underwater. I never knew that. Very cool. Well, you can actually you can you can search on YouTube, fly river so, turtle hatching. The so water I'm triggers them. YouTube. It actually and triggers them to hatch. It's really really cool. Turtle Tokyo. Well, folks, I had fun, man. It's been a long ride, but there's still so much more for me to do here today. Uh, before we go, I want to go out back and see what Greg's been working on. He's been building something pretty amazing in the back, so we'll stop back here before the end of the video to see how the Fly River's doing. I'm gonna let him finish, and I'll see you guys in a second. Oh my gosh, there's just a lot of friends here at Aqualand. Look at the size of this place. All your pond needs are in this building. I love it here, man. And you know, I made the trip for Greg because Greg's a good dude, he's always helped me out. Obviously, he's transformed my home into what I, I jokingly refer to as Aqualand South. Um, but yeah, it's just just incredible, um, the, the generosity. So the least I could do was get you the turtle you of your like dreams. you have three fly rivers? I did. Now I have two. Aww, That's you. all right, buddy. We'll take good care of them. Yeah. And now I got two. I got Little Titan yep. for my Howl Fish Rescue, and I got yours. Does that have cool. a name, or can we have to name them? You're going to have to name them, buddy. Woo um, okay. Uh, look at this place. I mean, all so, the bays, everything's going on. So the, where are we heading right we're now? We're heading to the Aqua Gardens, okay. where you're going to get, you're going to be the first person to see it because it officially opens on Monday for Pondemonium. Okay. But we have been working since July 18th on this, and of course it comes down to today's Saturday, this opens Monday, and they're still out here working. Oh, of course, yeah. I mean, they work every single minute, and there's the construction coordinator, she's out here planting every single hand. Dude. We're not a union company, every hand on deck, but. This How is, you doing? This is a contemporary recreation pond. It's nothing like you've ever seen Aquascape do. Okay. How's that? I'm excited, so man. Is, this is the display gardens back here. All hands on deck, right? <laughs> How you doing? Good, how are you? Okay, this, I want you to take this All in. Right, let's see. This is much different now because this was, obviously this is the gardens back in here, highlighting and making show people. No way. Wow, this really is beautiful. I mean, it really shows you the possibilities with a naturalized water feature that you can interact with. That, I'm guessing, is the wetland. That's the wetland. That is gorgeous. Look at this. Right angles. For those of you who maybe want something a little bit more, as he said, contemporary, a little bit more uniform, you can have that. So this has only been running for how long? It's Saturday. This we turn us on Thursday night at like 10. Thursday night. It. So look at this. The water's clearing up. How deep is about five? It's four and a half feet deep. Oh, four and a half foot but deep. But what's nice? Look is at this boulder that you've that integrated. Down. There's some 10 ton boulders oh in here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's the, with the little touches of oxygen. And if you come down here, be careful because we still got stuff going on. Oh my God. Guys. If you come down here, check this out. Oh, the viewing window. So can you imagine that fly river? going and getting the view up from here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is awesome. During the summer months, this yes. turtle is going to have the ultimate habitat to live in. I thought my back pond was the <laughs> ultimate one, but this, I mean, that's the cool thing though. You know what? These ponds, each one is its own oh ultimate gosh. habitat. Yeah, we have, we have jets in here to blow up. We got jets wow. everywhere in this. And then, you know, Kate would love this. Oh yeah. No, Kate's going to see this buddy <laughs> and she's going to want you to come build something like yeah. this. She, yeah. she loves our pond, but she's a Jersey girl. Yeah. And sometimes she's a little bit scared. So how cool would it be to go oh. and have the fly river swim around you with the koi? Are you this kidding me? Like you <laughs> can actually sit Bring your turtle food or your fish food. The fish will be right there swimming and nibbling on you. Oh my gosh. This, I mean, you've outdone yourself. This wow. is incredible. Was this an, an Ed? Ed and Brian collaborated on this. Wow. And together they built it. And uh, it, we're revealing it at Pondemonium, which is the world's biggest event for guys that want to get in this industry. And Kenny, you see what's going on right over yeah, here? Yeah, this is the pond build off, that, right? That's going to be 20 waterfall building contests that are taking place on Monday. Is that Jack? That's Jack. Look at Jack. 21 years old now. He helped build my rec pond and look at him. He's that was his first time in an airplane. Oh my gosh. And now he's running a Bobcat and he's an integral part oh. of the Aqua Skate family. Yeah, here. So look, cool. Look, look at this, guys. There's always so, he's always got so much going on, but it's amazing that this started with a wheelbarrow, a pickup truck, 
and sweat, a little and, elbow and, grease. And 11 pet turtles. And 11 pet turtles. And it's morphed into this massive, beautiful building where all the world's best pond builders are gonna be converging here. So what's happening? So everybody gets a kit. Okay. They gotta install the kit. They gotta, and then they can use whatever. See all the, the predisposed rocks? Yep. They have to figure out the jigsaw puzzle of the stone. They've gotta figure out how to piece these together and make a unique water feature. And then we always let them go in the woods and grab some moss and grab some yep. driftwood and things like that. So 10 on this side, 10 on this side. People from all over the world. We got Australia, we got England, we've got Africa, we've got Canada, we've got Mexico. And of course the United States will all be competing. And then at the end of the day on Monday, we all come out here, the certified guys, and then we vote on which one's our favorites. You know what's cool? They're gonna be able to see this on your channel. Yes, which, it, well, they'll see this on Team Aquascape. Okay. And my channel's the Lifestyle Channel, so I'll probably put in me with my turtle, you know, my new turtle in there, swimming in there with that one. But the, the Team Aquascape is the construction channel, mine is the Lifestyle Channel, and then everybody that watches you would know and the, the Pond Professor right. is the Ecology Channel. So cool. So. Three great channels if you guys are interested in seeing what they're doing here at Aquascape. Uh, I want to get back over there and check out that pond. It is so amazing. Uh, I mean, I can't believe that pond. It's incredible. Uh, good grief. I can't wait to see the Fly River Turtles swimming around in that. So you guys are going to have to go check out Greg's channel. Uh, Greg the Pond Guy, Greg Whitsot the Pond Guy to check him out. You'll see, I'll put a link in the description so you can check out all his videos and see the Fly River enjoying its life in here. And the other smart thing they did is if you look, you see how the water level, where the water level is, you can put turtles in here and they will not get out of the pond. Unless they are ninja turtles, let's see. Uh, that we're gonna have to do a little well, reconfiguring the, the here whole, but but i but this is all going to be fenced and i'm going to put chicken wire on the bottom of the fence nice. so they can just live in here they're going to live in here my gosh what a beautiful habitat for these animals look at this and then of course you do get that element here in the wetland even you see the only thing that you could say is you know um you know i, I don't know how they say it um even the filter is a beautiful work of art. Look at that. They're using nature to clean the water. Nature, of course, does it the best, so they just mimic nature. All right, so there you have it, everyone. Uh, great day today. Glad to be here. Glad you guys got a chance to see it. Um, I'm gonna leave you now. Say goodbye, Greg. Thank you, Kenan. You got it, buddy. Thank you, Aquascape and Greg and Ed and everyone here that's done some amazing things for me. Uh, I'm gonna leave you now with some shots of the Fly River Turtle enjoying his new home. See you guys.